Hey everybody, you may have heard that there is a new, let's see, MCU or computer, whatever you want to call it, in some of the newest Teslas that are shipping that are Model S and X. Model 3 already has a nice smooth one as you probably know from watching videos. And they said it's nice and smooth and the maps, especially like here on the maps, takes a little while to populate, although that's pretty quick. But a lot of people's takes a lot longer. We'll see, even that takes, it's taking a while to draw everything. Model 3 is much quicker. So they have updated the MCU now on new Model S's and X's that are um, that were shipped, I think starting or built either last week of February or definitely first week of March. Now Tesla's not saying anything about this, but it, it is happening. And I wanna show you, in case you just took delivery, how you know, well, first of all, you'll know you have a very quick system and it can load almost every single web page on the browser. Now, um, you know, mine definitely has trouble sometimes loading up web pages. And let me tell you, just you know, just in case um, you want to find out what kind of which browser, I'm sorry, which MCU you have, here's how to do it. So here's what you want to type in: what's my ua.info. And by the way, you cannot apparently load up web browsers on the Model Three. Not web browsers. You can't do any web browsing. Let me know if you know any different. Uh, write in the comments. But that's the way I understand it. Now watch my UA.info, see it loads this up, and then, let's see, under architecture, right down here, oops, CPU, it's lagging a little bit, architecture undefined. That means I have the old uh, Tegra processor, which is really a processor from 2011. It would say here something different. It would say here AMD 64 if you have the new Intel chip, which is a 2017 chip. So it's six years, not six years, seven years there, because it's 2018 now, uh, from 2011. Um, this is a, a much newer chip, so you're going to get much better performance like with anything. And hopefully, you know, I don't know what's going to happen if these cars are going to be upgradable or not. If you know that they might be upgradable, let me know in the comments. And I'm hoping, see, I already bought level five self-driving. I bought the full self-driving. And I know that Elon Musk has said that if your car is not capable of actual level five self-driving and you've already paid for it, that they will upgrade your processing units. I don't know which processing unit that means because in this case, this MCU controls what's uh, over here on the, on the screen, the big screen in front of me. It doesn't control the full self-driving calculations with the supercomputer. That's done by another computer and that may need to be upgraded as well. So let me know what you know about that. And I'd like to find out, you know, if we know that this might be upgraded or if it's needed as an upgrade in order to do full level five self-driving. And one final thing we've heard is that if your VIN number, and here's mine, is 245,000 or greater, I think, or is it mine? Mine's 35,000. Yes, yeah, so you have to be 245,000 or greater, apparently. That's what we're thinking is going to make the difference as to whether or not you've got the new um, MCU. So let us know in the comments anything you know about this. We'd love to hear from you. This is something that Tesla has not announced, but we're you know going to get all the information out there we can to you. And we really rely on you know, your comments and letting us know what's going on. So if you can, comment with any information that you have. Share this video with people. Let's figure out all the details on this. Thanks for watching.